I have literally 10 minutes to get this video done throughout the power through. Ah, I gotta do it in one take. Mm. So one thing that everyone is going mad about this week that I kind of just wanted to talk about real quick is that uh, apparently Doctor Who is a woman now and that is terrible. I don't know, I've never been a, a proper Doctor Who fan. It's it's a TV show that's been going on for like, what, like 50 years or something now. I tried to watch an episode or two and I could just never really get into it. It just had a weird feel to it for me. When it got announced, a lot of people weren't very happy and I don't think that's like an anti-feminist or like a, a sexist type thing. I just feel people are kind of worried that the kind of interesting dynamics between the Doctor and like his companions which I always thought was a little, little bit weird, companions. I think people are just afraid that it's gonna make the characters who are cast as the Doctor's companions like weaker or something. And it's just gonna be like a, a girls against the world type thing, which I think it's kind of established in the past 50 years. It's, it's not about that. I think people just don't want this like TV show that they've grown to love for the past, whatever, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. They just don't want it to become this like poster child for political correctness. Apparently the big strong suit with Doctor Who is that it's really good writers and really like outside the box kind of thinkers. So I'd be fairly surprised now if it's just they let, you know, the marketing department take over the writing and just be like, we need a bigger, bigger, you know, female demographic here. In saying that, I, I think it's, I'm going to be for the idea, even though maybe I'm not allowed to speak on it because I'm not a Doctor Who fan. I know it's going to be like the, the typical excuse, but I could see more younger girls getting into like sci-fi or having another intelligent, strong female role model, hopefully, we don't know what she's like yet, rather than, you know, girls only having like fucking princesses and stuff to look up to. I just think it's cool that there's more and more like variation in female role models coming up now. For the past however long it's been your one from Frozen has been every fucking little girl's hero, maybe now it'll be Doctor Who. Maybe that will be cool. I'm definitely not like social uh, activist type channel. I'm just seeing this from an exterior point of view and I'm all for, you know, female characters. And if this brings something new to an ever loved TV show, maybe it'll be really interesting. In saying all that, I just hope the people writing the show don't see like female Doctor Who as like, that's the character. It's Doctor Who but a woman. That's all the character, rather than the Doctor being a woman as just like one character trait of many. Because that nev that just results in like shallow characters and it never works out for anyone. What I think might have been, they could have gone a step further and might have been interesting, although I say even more people would be even angrier about it, is if they made the Doctor come back as like a 14 year old girl or 13 year old girl, but still like an intelligent, like, you know, 800 year old kind of being. I think that would turn it on its head and make it go in all kinds of weird, Potentially kind of unsettling directions actually going to think of it the more I think on it the less of a good idea It seems but rather than just like oh, how can we change up the dynamics make one of them a woman? You know do something weird with it like maybe he comes back and he's blind I don't think that's making it politically correct. I think that's adding Obstacles and like just it's changing the dynamics in different ways, you know Just I think there's nothing wrong with changing the dynamics in a TV show Just as long as you're not relying on that to make the show interesting like, as long as it's not Doctor Who, but a woman, is, you know, the slogan. I don't know, I'm very much rushing through this video because I have to leg it in like four minutes. I have four minutes. Like, I think there's this really fine line between making interesting stories and making stories that rely on interesting twists or traits of a character. Like, relying on making a character a woman or making them gay or making them a certain ethnicity and you're like, bam, there we go. Rather than that, letting that be like one little trait of a much more fleshed out character and having all this other stuff. Which I, which I don't think it will be. I think a lot of people are worrying about that. But I remember people freaking out when they found out that Rey was going to be effectively Luke in the new Star Wars. And people still are freaking out about that. Just kind of on a side note there. Uh, my favourite theory about who Rey's parents are in the new Star Wars movie is that they're fucking nobodies. They're just, they're no one we've ever heard of. I know it's probably like hinted at in comic books and stuff like that. But I think it would be cool if Rey's parents were just nothing special like there were villagers on a farm on a distant planet or something but i think i just i think a story that is telling people that you don't need to come from somewhere special to be special is better than a story that's like you're only special if you have a deep dark secret you don't know about that is thanks to your parents i'm not saying that's not an interesting story i just think that's been done to death that's just luke skywalker's story or harry potter's story i just think it would be way cooler for this really cool character to come from a perfectly normal background or to come from a not great background and 
become great. You know, a rise to greatness, I think, is better than just, oh, by the way, you were born special. Fucking phone. Uh, is that just me? I'm not explaining myself very well. Ah, and just while we're talking about movies that just fucking ruined their story, could we talk about Transformers real quick? I know the new movies come out, and I always let myself get tricked into, like, getting really hyped for the trailers. I was like, ooh, Anthony Hopkins and, and Arthurian legends and Transformers and flying fucking metal dragons. Age of Extinction was the fucking worst film I've ever seen. I, I will go on a huge rant about how bad Age of Extinction is. Because it's long and it's boring and it doesn't make sense. Age of Extinction is literally my number one worst movie that I've ever seen in my life. I watched it on a flight because there was literally no other movies to watch and it made the flight worse. It's just, it's a perfect example of a film that has a story that it can tell and it just forgets about that and wrecks the whole thing. Like, like Optimus Prime is supposed to be this like honorable, kind of gentle but has to fight giant. And it just looks out for those who are weaker and less fortunate than him and believes in justice and that everyone is equal, it doesn't matter who you are. But in fucking Age of, from Age of Extinction and from what it looks like, this new film, it's just him running around screaming, I'll kill you, to like everyone he meets. Even people, like of course you'll kill them, you're a giant robot. It's a special fucking big deal if you don't kill them. Yeah, okay, Transformers was about to be a movie about giant robots fighting each other, but it also was kind of supposed to have this story, I feel anyway, about how like what it means to be human or what it means to be an intelligent life form. I just feel like there's potentially amazing themes that you can explore using giant robots fighting each other rather than just relying on constant scenes of robots fighting to make your movie sell. Another movie that I have loads of opinions and stuff about is Pacific Rim which is potentially one of the greatest movies ever but it's actually shite. No, I'm not gonna go nuts but hey, if you want me to talk about Pacific Rim leave me a comment down below and I will do a whole video dedicated to Pacific Rim for some reason. I'm two minutes late for a thing, so I'm running late already. Please, please, please go check out my Patreon. It's something I'm really trying to push out there uh, because I'm a huge scab. I can understand if you're not into the whole Patreon thing. If you did like this video though, you can hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit the subscribe button. I really, really have to go. Thank you guys so much for watching.